If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you should know by now I'm all about making videos on a budget. Check out the description below for links for my low budget tips. Today, I'm gonna share with you seven cheap camera accessories that have helped me tremendously on shoots, and hopefully they'll help you guys out too. This first one is a Consat, 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 I don't know how to fucking say this, quick release plate. This thing, this thing has two parts. A small plate that gets mounted to the bottom of your camera using the quarter 20 screw, and this larger piece that has a female quarter 20 thread, and you mount this onto your gimbal, your tripod, or anything else that you can mount it on. You make sure the lever is open and you snap the two together and your camera is locked in. Instead of having to mount and dismount your camera by having to screw on and off your other equipment, all you have to do is snap into place and you're good to go. Shoots where this was especially useful for me were the weddings I filmed. Since I was filming solo, I had to be efficient with my time because I had to be in a bunch of different places at a moment's notice. Once I arrived where I needed to be, I just had to whip out my camera, snap it onto my gimbal, snap it into my tripod, and I just start shooting. I have the small plate attached to the bottom of all my camera bodies, and that other plate with a lever is attached to all my tripods and my gimbals. This way, no matter which camera I pick up, I could snap in and mount it to anything at any time. This is the Giotto's AA-1900. Giotto's? G-I-O-T-T-O-S. It's like I can't fucking read. This puffy air blower is to blow off any dust or debris on your lens. Instead of using your mouth to blow on your lens, it's covered, don't worry. Where you risk getting spit on your lens, or using your shirt where you could potentially cause some scratches, just use air to blow off anything on your lens. And this thing puffs pretty hard. Like, check out how my skin's deforming. You see that? This is the Zion Transmount Quick Setup. I should really pronounce this right. It's, it's not Zion, it's Zhuin. Anyway, this is very similar to our quick release plate from before, except it's for the gimbal's mini tripod. So again, it's just another time saver. KNF Concept Variable ND Filters. Okay, so 70 bucks may not be as inexpensive as the other items on this list, but there is a price range of up to $70 for these filters. For our friends new to cameras, you could think of ND filters as sunglasses for your lens. It dampens the amount of light coming through so that way your image isn't so bright. This is especially useful in outdoor video shoots when the sun is out. As we already know, exposure settings for video has some limitations. Shutter speed has to be kept double the frame rate, and if you want a nice blurry background, your aperture has to be wide open. With these settings locked in, sometimes your exposure is still too bright, even if you drop your ISO, but that's why you use an ND filter to cut some of that light. There are fixed ND filters and variable ND filters. The variable ND filter gives you control of a range of stops from bright, to dark. Now, I think the price only varies on these depending on the size of the thread mount you need for your lens, but depending on what lens you use it on, you could get some bang for your buck. For example, I use this on my Sigma 17 to 50 zoom lens, so that way I get a range of focal length and then a range of stops to choose from depending on how bright the scene is. This is the Purple Panda Lav Mic. Now, when I bought this, I was able to get it for around 20 bucks. Now, Amazon has it for around 40 bucks, so inflation is a bitch. Or word is spreading about how good this mic really is. Even for the price that I bought it for, I think it does a phenomenal job at capturing audio. I use this on professional shoots like documentaries, interviews, and promo videos, and it's never failed me. Granted, I'm not an audio guy in the least, but from what I hear, it's good enough. You guys wanna hear it? Let me switch out my shotgun mic for this lav mic, if I could untangle this. Okay, so what you're listening to right now is the Purple Panda lav mic plugged into my Canon SL2. How's the audio? Is it better, is it worse than the shotgun mic that I've been using for my YouTube videos? Let me clip this to my shirt, so that way it's more real life situation. And this isn't really a look that I prefer, just having something on my chest. You probably can't even notice it on the camera, but uh, that's why I use the shotgun mic as opposed to the lav mic. So how does it sound? Is it better? Should I be using this all the time now instead of my shotgun mic? I'll probably find out after I edit this video. This is the Ugreen Y splitter. Nothing too complicated about this. You're able to plug in two mics and have it feed into one recording device. This is very useful when I film interviews because instead of dealing with two audio tracks, 
I just have to deal with one. Tagstar SGC598. This is the same shotgun mic that I'm using right now to record this YouTube video. Now, I bought this for around 20 bucks, but now Amazon has it listed as 30. And I'm telling you, like people are finding out how good these products are and they're just jacking up the price. This is a shotgun mic and that means it picks up audio that's directly in front of it and tries to reject any noise that's coming from the sides and the rear. This microphone requires one AA battery, so that's why there's an on and off switch here. There is a plus 10 dB switch, so that way you could boost the signal by 10 decibels if you need to. And there is a high pass filter switch, so that way you could cut the low frequencies, like any rumbles or fan noises, stuff like that. All of these low cost camera accessories have helped me on my professional shoots, which goes to show that you really don't need the most expensive, best of the best gear to do what you have to do. There's a list of all these items in the description below. Try them out, they're super cheap. You're really not gonna lose out on anything. If you do try any of these out, comment below which one you got and let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. This is Kevin Mendoza and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.